I'd like to share some work that we've been doing to simplify the process of programming a Go One. Now, there are many different interfaces that can be overwhelming, and so we've been working towards creating both a JavaScript and a Python package that will allow you to easily do high level control with Go One. So, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate our Go One JS library. This does require experience with some various tools such as NPM, Node.js, and then Visual Studio Code. We'll be working towards uh, building out this package for both JavaScript and Python uh, to do some more advanced stuff with both high-level and low-level control. But for now, I'm going to demonstrate using Go One's LEDs as well as sending some basic movement commands. So I have an empty directory that I've created. I've loaded it into Visual Studio Code, and then I'm going to uh, set up my project. So we'll just do an npm init-y. That will just leave all the defaults. And the next thing that we'll do is we'll install the package that we've created. So we'll do an npm i at drone blocks slash go one dash js so that will download our dependencies now that's all there is to it for getting the environment set up and then uh, now we'll begin a basic program so i'll create a file called index.js we want to import our package so i'll call it this is called go one and we're going to say from drone blocks go one dash js the next thing is we'll do is we'll uh, create an object. We'll create an instance of the Go One so that we can interface with it. So I'll just call it uh, my robot dog new equals new Go One. And here's where we can start uh, sending some basic commands. So we'll start off with a simple uh, LED blink. So I'll just do my robot dog set LED color you'll see that we can do an R, a G, and a B. Those can be uh, values from two, 0 to 255. So that will be red. We need to tell it to wait just so that we don't run through this code incredibly fast. We want to uh, delay three seconds. So I'm going to do wait 3,000 milliseconds. Then I'll just copy this. And so we'll change this red now to zero. We'll have green. And then finally, we'll change this to blue. So what our program now is doing is we create an instance of Go1. We set the LED color to red. We wait three seconds, green. We wait three seconds and blue. And we can go ahead and get rid of this last line. And then I'll just log out done. Okay, so one last thing is if I tried to run it now, we'll see an error. So for example, to run the program, I'll do node index.js. So that throws an error. The last thing we'll do is in package.json, we'll set the type to module. Notice that I have this comma here. I'll save it. And then let's run it again. So now it's running, and then it will uh, send the various commands to Go1, and then finally we have done. So I'm going to Control C, I'll power up Go1, connect to it, and let's see what happens. All right, so we have Go1 powered up. I'm going to clear my terminal. We'll go over here and look for the Go1. Click connect. Now that we're connected, I'll just run our program. So we'll see red, green, and blue. Let's check it out. And our program is now complete. Let's take a look at a slightly more advanced example uh, to demonstrate how the uh, Go1.js uh, package supports uh, moving Go1 around. So uh, in this example, we'll start with blinking an LED. 
uh, while go one is moving. So we have this function here, I've just called it blink, it's asynchronous. What this means is we're going to have this running simultaneously while uh, go one is moving around. So we've defined it here, I'm calling it. So what it'll do, it, it'll just indefinitely until the program has stopped a loop and set the color between red and green with a delay of two seconds between each. So that'll quickly execute and then we'll move to the next line where you can see we're logging starting to the console. And so these functions are straightforward. We have a, a go forward. You can see we have IntelliSense here that tells us a little bit about the, the function call as well as the values. So speed can be a value from zero to one with uh, zero obviously no motion and one full speed and then length of time in milliseconds. So we're going to say go forward about uh, one fourth or a quarter of the speed for one second. I'm just doing these very short uh, intervals because I have limited space in my garage. And then let me just uh, end this with one more command. We're going to go forward, go right, go backward and go left. So you can see as you're typing these in, you can see uh, it gives us the options. And then when I sp try to specify the arguments here, we have speed, which is a number. So I'll do 0 0.25. And then the length of the time will do one second. So that's a square. And then let's go ahead and turn right. So we're gonna turn left at a quarter speed for five seconds. And then let's go ahead and turn right. Do same thing, a quarter of full speed for five seconds. I'll go ahead and save this and we'll see it in action. Have Go One powered up. We'll go ahead and connect via Wi-Fi. I will mention before I run this program, please, please be certain to have your remote powered up just in case you need to uh, take control of Go One. We'll always obviously be able to cancel our script, but it's always good to just be able to take manual control. So. Uh, we're going to run node and then index.js, which is our program. And we'll start to see the blinking between green and red and then it carrying out the rest of the code. you'll notice that we still have blinking logging out to the console and go one's LED is going between green and red. So that's continuing to operate because we set it in this while loop, which will continue forever until we cancel it. So go ahead and control C. Our program is now complete. That was an overview of the go one JS package. We hope to continue to build on it, add some more advanced capabilities, and we'll be working on a Python version soon. So please stay tuned. If you have any suggestions or feedback, uh, please let us know. And until next time, thanks for watching.